David confronted the source of his problems instead of dealing with the symptoms of it. When David, met Tox, when David met his brothers and they started to make fun of him and accuse him, his brothers were crazy, but they were not his enemy. Saul was crazy, but it wasn't his enemy. I love David. He was not distracted with crazy people around him to lose focus of what the source of the problem was. Sometimes when you're surrounded with toxic people, you're quickly to assume they are your problem. Sometimes when you're surrounded with bad authority who hurt you and God forbid abuse you, you are convinced they are your problem. It means if I get rid of my parents or if I walk away from my parents' house, I will be fine. If I could just get rid of that abusive boyfriend and then my life is going to change. I'm going to get another boyfriend and everything is going to be fine. And that is dealing with the symptoms of the problem, not with the source of the problem. People can be crazy, but they're not your enemy. People can be abusive, but they're not your enemy. People could be diminishing, but they're not your enemy. People could be demon possessed, but they're not your enemy. There could be an authority figures who could be so bad and messed up but they are not your enemy. When you lose sight and you walk away from toxic places, submit yourself to the authority but you don't see your real enemy, you're not going to win a battle. I'm not going to win a battle. Most people see people as their enemies. Others see themselves and they will never forgive themselves. Some are spiritual. And they see God as their enemy because if God could why he didn't he could have prevented this so they turn all their anger against God they're so quick to give credit to themselves when things are going good and so quick to judge God when things are going bad and Satan is left innocent he's on a vacation he's tired of doing bad he no longer does bad and he doesn't exist for some people your real enemy is not your friends, not your enemies, not people who get on your nerves. Your real enemy of all the problems in your life, the Bible says, is Satan. Uh, my wonderful cousin, who happens to be also my neighbor, a few weeks ago had a very interesting incident and I asked her permission to share that. She had an incident when um, she has a habit of opening the faucets and forgetting to close them. It's an interesting habit. She went in the basement and she opened the faucets and forgot to close them. So she went to sleep and somehow the drain in the sink wasn't working or something like that. I'm not sure of the details. But next thing that happened is next morning she walked in and it looked like a world flood has come to the basement of the house. There was enough water that it covered the whole basement and I'm not certain of how much it was but it was enough that the whole basement was covered in water. Now let's say that you are in the same situation. I'm going to ask her, you know, what did you do first? Did you first go and take a bucket and start to get the water out of the basement? Did you take, you know, cloths, try to mop it out? Or did you go look for the source of the problem? What would you do first? When you go from one relationship to another, it's equivalent to a relationship flood. And most people, what they do first when they have a disappointment in relationship is they try to mop things out. It means get a new brother with a new name, new color skin, new eye color, new job, and a new car perhaps. But the faucet, the water is still coming out. And Satan would be interested in having you mop the basement as long as the water is still coming out. He is interested in you dealing with the symptoms of your problem so that you ignore the real problem itself. You know what my cousin did? She didn't care about the flood first. She wanted to find out where did it came from and when she found out it came from the sink water she didn't go and says oh we need to mop and get the water out she says we need to stop the faucet first and when the faucet is stopped then you can take and start doing the process of removing the water from the basement if there is a curse on your life dad and mom is divorced grandpa and grandma is divorced everyone is divorced every relationship you start breaks you need to stop. Stop. You have a faucet and it's open. Getting a new guy, changing your appearance, 
getting a car so you can attract better girls is not going to change nothing it's like getting water out of the basement but the faucet of curse is keep coming in and satan stands there stands there and says i'm keeping him busy but he's not making any progress and you are not attacking the goliath you are attacking brothers you are attacking authorities but you're not dealing with the real problem real problem is spiritual and it must be those spiritually